Georgia Tech 31, Duke 27. Now, the only reason I bring this up is because I, I like for good things to happen to Georgia Tech. Like, I, I've kind of, I'm kind of in the tank for Jeff Collins a little bit. I spoke highly of him, uh, you know, heading into uh, really when he was hired because I thought that he'd be able to turn around that program. And thus far, three and three on the season, two and two in conference, found a way to win this game late. There was a, uh, let me, let me look up this play by play. Let's see. Larry said, fellas, did you see USC head coach after not getting onside kick with 50 seconds? Utah takes a knee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes, I saw that. It, no, there's a reason why he's not going to be the head coach. I'll just say that. The reason he won't be the head coach. So, Georgia Tech scores a touchdown with 51 seconds left. 36-yard pass from Jeff Sims to, to Sanders. It was an 88-yard drive in 51 seconds. This was, if you just enjoy college football and you're not worried about rankings, and you're not worried about like the best athletes and whatever else, this was a glorious football game. This is two teams that really, really wanted to win. And cheers to Georgia Tech for getting it done. If you look at team stats and whatnot, 440 yards for Georgia Tech, 489 for Duke, 297 yards passing for Georgia Tech, which is not typically how they win games. They, they found a way to get it done. 292 passing for Duke, 197 yards rushing for Duke, and 143 for Georgia Tech, this was like Georgia Tech lost the turnover battle, still won the game, and and it doesn't get much better than that. They they lost the time of possession, thirty five minutes to twenty five. I these kind of games are the ones that that make it flip for a program like Georgia Tech. It it doesn't matter that it was Duke on the other side. It was you found a way to win a game where it looked like you were going to lose, right? Right. And that's it. You you need to be able to learn to win games. This is the perfect spot. The perfect spot. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.